All right, hey, how's it going, everyone? This is GC Performance here, back with another video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to uh, lower your Tarmac SL7 stem um, without cutting the steerer on there. Basically, all you're gonna need is this guy right here, which you should get with your bike. It's a different cap cover to replace the one that's on there. This will allow it to lower it and have some steer tube sticking up. The only thing that you're gonna need that you won't get with the bike are like carbon fiber spacers. You can buy these online, you can get them at a store, uh, your, your bike shop, wherever you got them from. You'll probably need uh, a couple of these, maybe one to two of them, depending on how low you wanna go before testing. But the, the idea behind it is, is that you're gonna be able to lower your stem a couple spacers, ride it with it like that for a little bit until you make the decision that you wanna cut it. Because what happens is you can maybe lower it too much, and what can happen is that you're gonna feel uncomfortable on the bike, and then you wanna go back up. So instead of making that whole commitment of cutting it with a fully integrated bike, you have the option to change it. So we'll get right into it. So you're first gonna to need to remove this top cap that's on the uh, Tarmac stem as is. You can use a flathead screwdriver or something like that. You just kinda of wanna take it through the top and you're gonna to wanna to pry it down slowly like that. Now we have that removed. So we're gonna take that off. Then what we wanna do is we're going to remove the four stem bolts in the front um, no, actually you don't need to have to do that. Sorry. Uh, okay, so cool. We're going to loosen the two stem bolts right here. Boom, boom. Go right here, one. These are your pinch bolts. These are the bolts that actually clamp down onto the steer tube. Go right here, move through these. Then, once we have both these bolts removed or loosened, you don't want to remove them, you just want to loosen them. You're going to remove the compression or the top bolt that compresses the stem to the bike. Let's go ahead and take these off, this whole bolt. We're going to take this whole thing out. Now, coming to play, when I remove this, there are there is a little bolt underneath here, underneath your stem where it holds the cables and stuff like that, a little plate right here. You can remove this to three millimeter, uh, a three millimeter bolt to remove this little cap, and this will give you more slack to play with. So I'm going to see if I can do it without doing it right now. Let's see, we're just gonna pull up on the stem. Like so, we have room to play with. We're going to remove this top cap. These washer, these spaces right here break away at the bottom. This top one does not break away. So you physically have to pull this one up with it as well. Let's go ahead and pull this guy up. And this is where, like I said, might come to play of having to remove that, that bolt up there. Okay, cool, so I got that one there. And now simply we're going to remove one spacer and two spacer. Like I said, they just break away. So I removed a fat one and a small one because I wanted to go lower and get more leverage and arrow gains. So now we're going to put this back on, starting with this spacer we have to put on first, the top one that does not break away and put that down like that. Boom. Then we put our stem back on like this. And we're just gonna kinda put some force on there. Like that. So you can see some of the steer is sticking out now. So this is where these spaces are gonna come into play. Right here. It's still kind of, you want this to be, you want the spacer to be higher than the steer tube. So if this makes sense, bring this over to you guys. See how it's kind of overlapping like that? That's fine. I might put one more on top of it just to, for, just to show you guys, because when I tighten down this bolt, it might go flush with it. So I'm gonna put one more down top of there. But you want your spacers to be sticking out above the steer tube. Let's make sure everything's good and camera's still. Cool. So we're gonna go ahead and put some down force pressure on here. We got one spacer, and then we got, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, so, my apologies. You guys can see on this cap, you have a little lip right here. You're gonna wanna put this stem cap on first. House it over there, grab your two spacers. Put it on here, and then we're going to get our bolt, like so. 
I'm gonna give her a little tighten down. You always wanna tighten down this bolt first because this is actually what's gonna be compressing it. If you tighten down your two pinch bolts on this side first, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to, um, you're gonna have the steer tube tightened down. You're just gonna be pulling against the compression plug and you can cause things to go loose. So you always wanna tighten down the compression bolt first. So you guys can see, we wanna get everything lined up now. Go right there. There she is, make sure she all straight. And while doing this, if you make this too tight and your spacers aren't lined up with your frame, you guys can kind of see as the arrow cut out, Loosen this bolt up up top here just a little bit. You'll be able to have play to loosen, uh, to maneuver this around a little bit more. Go right there, make sure that's straight. Everything's good on there. So this is tight. We don't need to be super tight. Just wanna make it snug. This is just compressing. These bolts we wanna tighten up to five newton meters because these are the, your pinch bolts on this side that are going to actually be holding this together. So we're gonna to get to the point we need to be at. I don't have a torque wrench next to me, but Get the gist and that's it now we have it where we want to be at we lowered it ourselves we took off pretty good amount of stack and spacers so we can see if we like it at that point once we figure out and do a couple rides and we figure out if our backs can take it and our you know our upper body can take it if we decide to go like this then we can take it to any specialized dealer or any kind of dealer around you cut this off and then you can make it flush again but that way you can actually enjoy riding the bike lowered and all you have to do is just buy these spaces right here offline for a dollar, two dollars, whatever it is, and now you have a lowered stem. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you guys have any questions at all, please let me know down in the comment section below. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. But there you go. That's all you have to do. Thank you guys again so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And just in case you guys are wondering what bike I did on, this is the Tarmac SO7 Pro uh, in the blood red color, the red tint. Uh, this customer, this one is a sole bike, so the customer changed out his stem to a 110. I'm sorry, 100 millimeter S-Work stem is a size 52. It came with a 90, we put a 100 millimeter S-Work stem on there. We cut one spacer off the bottom right, right away. And then on the wheels, we changed it to a 54 tooth ratchet system for the rear hub. This is a DT Swiss 350. We went ahead and took out the uh, old ratchets and put in a 54 tooth ratchet. So now you guys can hear that. And then he has a Kogel. We have a Kogel OSPW that we're gonna put on here as well and change that thing out too as well. So uh, just in case you're wondering, it does not, this does not only work on the Tarmac Pro, it works on the Expert, the Pro and the S-Works, all the limited edition frames, anything that uses this integration system by the specialized Tarmac SL7 on this platform. Uh, same goes for the Venge as well. If you do have a Venge S-Works, same thing. They come with that little spacer cap like this, all bikes do or all of these specials do. That way you can run it lower before you make the decision to cut it. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and thank you so much.